What is up with you fine people today? It is your boy Manog, Super Entertainment, back with a brand new video today. What we're going to be doing today is, I'm going to be doing something a little different. Normally, I guess what you guys ex would expect in the Stupid Guys Plays episode. For this video, we are going to be doing a little bit of a guide. I don't really do guides in terms of video games, but uh, I'll just, I'll do one for you guys today because, because I know I love this game. I know most of you love Injustice 2, and I just want to get you all started back into it. So basically my backstory in doing this video again, or doing this video, is that I've been playing, I've been in love with Netherrealm games for like my entire life, <laughs> rather, not my entire life, but ever since Mortal Kombat 9, and um, I've been playing all ever since. Um, I just recently got a new PC, and I just recently got Injustice 2 from the Steam Store, before I was playing on like the PS4 or whatever, but like, I recently got this game from the Steam Store, I decided I might as well just like, show you guys a tutorial on how I used to with how I would use to get my characters maxed out in levels. I think before it was level 20, now it's level 30. I haven't played this game, like, ever since, I think, three months after Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles came out. Yeah, I know. I'm a little behind, but... I was trying to get my Mortal Kombat skills prepped for Mortal Kombat 11. Can you blame me? But... Yeah, so today we're going to be teaching you how to max out your characters pretty easily, without even doing anything, without even battling or attacking or anything like that. And as of what I've checked, this you might have seen in a lot of videos like Super and Dark Super's videos in uh, Unkid Games. I think he made one about this. And there's some other YouTubers who made this method and other methods too. Like I'll go over each method that I use. But here's what you do. So instead of level 20, it's now max level 30. What you want to do here to get your character to be maxed out in level. This will take a while. I'll let you know that. And. Um, it does require a little bit of button pressing, like just the A button on normal occasions, that's about it. But what you want to do, you want to go to your customized characters. You want to choose the character in which you, um, you want to choose the character in which you want to level up. I guess in this case, now remember guys, I just downloaded it again for my PC, so I had to play catch up, so I decided I might as well make this video. So, who will we level up? I tested it out a bit with Robin, started from 1. Um, I got kind of tired, so I was like, I'll continue it later. But what you want to do, you want to choose a random character. Whoever you want to level up, rather. Uh, for this video, we will be doing, for tutorial sake. Recording this again. But anyways, so what you want to do is that you want to choose a character. For this video, we will be using Red Hood. So what you want to do is that you want to go to your AI loadouts. Yes, your AI loadouts. And then from here, what you're going to do is that you're going to choose the gear you want. So, the gear you want can really help you with this type of style. Because you're going to need a lot of augments to your gear for this to work. You don't really need the augments for it to work, but it just helps out. makes it a lot faster than it needs to be. But, so, for us, we don't really have much Red Hood gear, but we'll take some anyway. Whichever one helps your strength ability, I'll choose whichever one boosts my defense. We have much there. Okay, and then from there you can also make your gear, whatever, your shader, whichever shader you want. But for me, I don't really have any shaders. So what you want to do here, this is an AI thing, so you want to adjust your AI attributes. You can choose this to whatever you want. If you have a grappling character, you can make it 15. You can make it more. If you have a rushdown character, you can make it more. If you have a zoner character like Deadshot, you can increase that. But for this, we're going to be doing up close and personal with Red Hood. I know you can zone a bit with the shooting star thing. But you want to put these to zero, grappling and rush down to zero. Oh wait, crap. You want to put these to zero, and you want to put your combos and counters up to 30. So then from here you have your gear augments, you want to save your custom character. And remember, AI loadout, not your loadout one, because that is going to be a doozy. This you don't want to do anything, so we're going to go, go there. Also, I'd like to give a suggestion that if you have any gear augments for characters, let's just say, um, in the augments feature, it says there's an EXP booster, you want that. It'll make the, pa the process much faster. I'm telling you, it'll help out a lot. But for here, Red Hood, we don't have anything, so that's why I'm just going without any augments. What you want to do after that, you want to go to single player, you want to go to the multiverse. After that, you want to go to your battle sim. Battle sim later. And you can either do 29, or you could do the infinity amount, the endless. For the Survivor Endless. But for this video, for this sake, we're going to be doing the Endless Leader. 
because you want to get this until you get to level 30. And for me, Red Hood is level 2, so we want to get to that. So you want to choose your loadout, your AI loadout. Red Hood. So you want to choose that. And then from there, the AI will just battle for you. So just press A. And let's see this battle. Joker, you son of a bitch. Here to haunt your every dream. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Begin. Basically, you see this battle style? I'm not doing anything. The AI is just doing it for me. So, the AI is just gonna battle for you. And then from there, this is even gonna level up your character. There's something to make you feel you're not gonna level up as much. Yes, you're gonna level up the same time. Is played out. Die, Joker. Whenever these little menu pop ups appear, and also whenever your gear pop ups appear, all you have to do is just press A to proceed on to every next battle. That's about it. This could get a little tedious though, like just waiting for the battle to end, waiting for the battles to start, just to press A. It could get really annoying and kind of tiring, and this does take a while. Like, I'm telling you, it takes a while, but it's so worth it. Like, I just got this game for my PC, and Ready to begin. I just got this game back for my PC, and this is something you level up my character like fast. Like, literally, like, two hours ago, I think it was, or three hours ago, my Robin was only, like, level one. And then, after, I think, 30 minutes, it became, or was it, like, 20 to 30 minutes, it became, like, a This is actually cool. See you all in the next video. You're a real downer, man. Go to sleep, scumbag. guys what's up it's me again uh sorry i made this little cut out after the video but my audio kind of died out right at the end and i was just wanting to say towards the end or whatever i was sorry grammar I i'm stupid anyways okay so basically what i was saying in the video was that remember though every nine times out of ten the ai's the ai will win the battle for you but sometimes they might lose so what you would want to do, you would want to keep on checking and checking, make sure your AI loadout doesn't lose or whatever, and if they do, you want to get back up to the endless leader mark, survivor, whichever mode you choose. And I was saying towards uh, the end, I don't know if y'all heard me because my, my, my microphone wasn't like doing the best. Right now I'm using my computer audio, but that's whatever. But basically I, what I was saying is that my Robin was literally level 1 like 20 minutes before I started the method and then I think 20 minutes later it reached to level 12 so if I kept on going and going I'm pretty sure like within an hour or maybe yeah maybe within an hour we would have probably seen an almost level 30 Robin so this could take 
maybe one hour, ten minutes, one hour, ten minutes less, less than that. It depends on your character. Also, your augments. Remember your augments. If you have any EXP boosters, that'll help out a lot. My Robin got some EXP boosters, so I kept on adding to my AI loadout. So anytime actually you get any gear, you also want to keep on adding on to your character. Like, I'm telling you, it'll really help out a lot. Also, any of the characters that you've played in the story, like Batman, Flash, Black Adam, they might have any gear. I mean, not the level 20 gear that you always get after every end of the chapter, but any gear that they might have you want to strap onto them it'll help with their gear up it'll help with their power upgrades it'll help you go through these battles a lot faster also they might have these exp augments which will help out so i'm just letting you all know keep that in mind and you should be golden this will be tedious like i'm saying this method is tedious it could take even up to three hours or not probably not even three it could probably take up to like an hour and 30 minutes or two hours but it's so worth it to get like your Aquaman or your Red Hood or your Leonardo, Michelangelo, Hellboy, all those characters up to level 30. You're pretty much golden after that, yeah. But yeah, guys, I'm really in love with these games. I'm in love with NetherRealm games in general. You can expect me to cover anything about these games anytime. I think there's an Injustice 3 that might be announced around the corner if NetherRealm keeps up with that two-year pattern. Like, you know, how they do Mortal Kombat 9, then just Injustice after that, Mortal Kombat 10, then after that, um, Injust Injustice 2, then after that, Mortal Kombat 11. The thing is, is the impending world conditions going on right now, but I don't know if that would necessarily delay any development within Injustice, because you could easily do that from home. Another thing I could see that could actually delay that is something like the DLC going on with Mortal Kombat 11 right now. This is the longest we've ever had for, for it to take for DLC characters to come out something i don't know it's stupid but yeah but i can't wait ash williams in mortal kombat 11 the stuff that looks awesome the game I was gonna say that the game is kind of dead but it's not really that dead in my opinion i mean we didn't get into evil 2020 but hey evil's probably canceled by now what do i know but yeah guys thanks for watching this video i hope you all stay safe out there have a good rest of your day. I'm recording this at 12 in the morning, but whatever. Have a good day or whatever, or wherever you're at in the day. And stay awesome. Peace out, guys. This is Stupid Entertainment, signing out.